All right, welcome to the Friday Night Frenzy. Alongside Erica Curtitis, I'm Andrew Pogar. Ten games on tap this evening. We start our show with not just two teams, the two top teams in the North Central Conference, but two of the top teams in the state. We're talking Logansport and McCutcheon. The Berries and Mavs both 10-1 and one on the season, both ranked in the Class 4A. Logansport number five, while McCutcheon number six. Jalen Attaway and the Berries trying to hand Hayden Deaton and the Mavs their first loss at home in nearly a year. This one living up to its billing. First quarter, Attaway. Atta boy, Logansport down 16 to 11. Still in the first, Deaton. Hail Mary full of grace. The Grace College commit with the slam over Attaway. 23-20 in favor of McCutcheon. Closing seconds of the second now. Robert Finnessy getting to his left. 33-22 McCutcheon at the break. Third quarter, the Mavs picking up where they left off. Gavin Dunbar drilling the triple try. 38-27, but Logansport owning the quarter. Matt Jennings, nothing but the bottom of the net. And then it's Sam Skaggs. Logansport taking its first lead of the game, 42-40. McCutcheon coach Rick Peckinpah, he's incredulous. Now tied at 42. Attaway, three of his 19 points. The Mavs finally stopped the bleeding, ensuing possession. Finnessy counted and won. We're deadlocked at 45. Moments later, off the steal. Deaton finding Finnessy for the easy layup. McCutcheon climbing ahead, 47 45, but Logansport showing poise. Jennings, no good from three, but MJ getting it back, and this is big time. The Berries retake the lead 48 to 47. Now move ahead to the final seconds of regulation. 52-49 Logansport. Eddie Collins equalizer falls well short. Logansport holds on to beat McCutcheon 54 to 49 the final. Head coach Pat Skaggs will join us in the coach's corner. The Lafayette student section and cheer squad hyped up for the game tonight. Broncos starting with the ball, getting in the hands of James Burns with the spin move to the rim. 32-25 Lafayette, Jeff. Off of a free-for-all, it's underhanded to David Haynard for a wide-open layup. The Broncos are still ahead. Anderson territory, Zach Milhouse aggressively getting to the bucket, and he gets his own rebound. It's a three-point game. Broncos now using their speed and agility. Cortez Bugner with two more red and white points. Indians, they're answering back, though. Jamel Boyd. Keeps it in his possession with the one-hander, 40-35 to Broncos. Milhouse again takes the jump shot that inches his team towards the three-point victory, 61-58 the final. Okay, next up on the frenzy tour this week, Harrison taking on Kokomo. The Wildcats trailing at the half but coming out strong for the second. Brevin Beard driving this one in to bring the Cats a little closer. Jacob Hall now dishing the rock to guard Elliott Champion. Champion laying it in for two points. For the Raiders. This time now, Hall getting the pass from outside. Nice little one handed fadeaway for two to keep the Raiders in the game. Jack Matthews finding number 23. That's Bobby Deering who kisses this one off the backboard. Champion then trying to drive this one in, but he gets knocked away by that Beard kit. Beard making it happen on both ends of the floor tonight for Kokomo. What a dunk right there. Beard again tough with the D. This time, Driving it all the way in for the slam. The Kokomo Wildcats just too strong tonight. The Raiders fall in a tough one, 55 to 47. Next up, the Rensselaer Central Bombers hosting West Lafayette. Red Devils Charlie Nice getting the inbounds pass. He takes a spill but plays through, taking it to the point and drops it in. Bombers now on the fast break, kicking it to Ben Hillen who makes the contested layup. The Red Devils with a few pump fakes, then a pass to Nice who makes it look too nice with the off balance layup. Bombers looking to get the ball in the paint for two, but Luke Staten has other plans as he blocks Hill and Jumper. A few plays later, the Red Devils trying to make a comeback, and Gabe Klinker will put up the shot from behind the arc, making it 15 to 9. Bombers now up by eight, looking to keep the Red Devils down. Jarrett Nagel with a lob pass to the big guy, Jalen Gilbert. He lays it off the glass, but all the hard work, not enough for the Red Devils. They fall to the Bombers, 58 to 46, the final. From Rensselaer Central to Central Catholic, the Knights hosting early first quarter. Knights with the ball. Jacob Page moving between Bison defenders. Five zip CC. Knights still in action. Carson Bear forcing his way to the bucket. Central Catholic still ahead. BC now with the ball. Pete Sevenhusen keeps it for himself, gets the layup for two more Bison points. 
Central Catholic dominating this game. Barrett sees the opening and goes for it 19-7 CC. The Knights just won't give BC a break. Tyler Powers takes the jump shot, helping his team take the win 63-27 to the final. That does it for the first half of the frenzy. Five games down. We still got five more to go. Coming up, we'll make stops at Tri-County, Clinton Prairie, Tri-Central. And North White. The Vikings try to win their first game of the season. Tough task. Their op opposition, 10-1 Twin Lakes. How North White did when we come back. The Friday Night Frenzy.